Alrighty, it's getting serious. It's inside. <laughs> it's getting serious. We pushed the truck out. It's a, it's a nice day, but it's windy outside. Uh, the wind is good to just to get the dust off the truck. I'm not working on it at this moment. Uh, we've been doing the videos on the race car. So basically what, ha what is happening is I've almost got to the place where um, I need to get, get it inside and get serious about some of the welding on it. There's a bunch of welding that has to be done. There's a bunch of it has to be done, but right at the present moment, I want to get inside and get the steering column brace that from the A pillar. I'll show you how I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this. I'm going to make this car steer today. That's what I'm going to do. And it's not going to be forever. I'm just going to make it steer. So we've got it mocked up. Uh, we're going to use the stuff that we have and we're going to stretch it and we're going to weld it back together. And it's going to be good enough for it to steer and drive and move. But in the end, what we're going to do is we're going to heim joint it. We're going to put heim joints in everything, and the whole front end will heim joint it all so it's good and safe. And we'll put all new rods in it and, and just make it safe. Uh, grade 8 bolts, heim joints, we'll be good to go. Uh, we, we weld the steering on yesterday. We just weld that one plate on and left it. Now, if you want to see, now if you want to see, got her inside, man, got her inside. This is the end of the bowl joint. This is the rod that I need to connect to. Oil pan is right here. I'm, I'm thinking with this in the center, what I'm thinking, this in the center like this, this would be center. Uh, far that way it can go, would turn it that way, and far as it can go, would turn it that way. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, but anyways, as I've got this here, you can see how far I'm apart. I got probably two and a half, three inches there. And if I turned it all the way over, I might end up hitting that oil pan a little bit. I might hit in that oil pan a little bit, I might. So I'm going to stretch this a little bit, and then I'm going to put this, these rods back together. I'm going to have to stretch the idler arm. I'm going to stretch this arm, which I mean, what, what that means is, is I'm going to cut it off, move it out a little bit longer, and then I'm going to connect this back together. That'll fix the steering on that part. I still have to put a brace down here at the bottom of the steering box. Still have to brace that yet. Um, I might jack it up or take the steering column right off for that, I might. Uh, but for this application, right, this application right here, I'm going to do it right there, and we'll see what happens. But first, before I connect that back together, I have to. I want to get inside and run a piece of square stock from A pillar to A pillar to hold that steering column up where it where it's at. Uh, basically, I was talking to Jolene before we even got started on this. I was thinking about you know. I've never built a race car before in my life. No, I haven't. But I would think that you wouldn't build a race car for a bunch of people. <laughs> I'm thinking that you would build a race car for a certain person to fit them the best it can. And that would be the race car that they drove. Um, it could be modified at any time, obviously. The seat can be moved. The steering wheel can be whatever, whatever. But what I'm saying is, if you're building a race car, I would think that you're building it for one person. And that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm mocking this car up for Jolene to get in there and feel the most comfortable that she can. She's telling me that she feels comfortable. Uh, it's got more comfort than some of the seats in the house, doesn't it, baby? Huh? Shifter's looking good. Steering was looking good. But let's get a piece put in there. I've got a piece left, left outdoors, so I'm going to shine it up. And make it work. <laughs> I'm not going to throw it away, not going to do anything. I'm going to shine her up and make her work. Here we go. So I'm going to make a piece. I just got to cut the square, square stock and get a nice piece that I can put in there. I got to cut off these little tabs here. It's Friday. It's going to be, well, I'm going to have fun. It's going to be, we're going to have fun. We're going to really, what we're going to do is actually we're going to, uh, or I'm going to, and Jolene probably, Jolene's probably going to weld this side up here on the sill. We've got two welders, and that's why we have a bunch of welders around here. Sometimes there's more than one person welding. But as we do that, I'm going to bunker down tonight and get a bunch of stuff done. I would like, this is what I would like. I would like to be able to get the body tight and right, get, the, get it steering, Get it so we can push a button, the engine will start, and we can back it out the shop tomorrow. That would be nice. 
Don't have to drive it up and down the road real quick or anything like that, but it would be really nice that we can do a bunch of stuff and get it going and get it so it moves. Uh, there's a, we'll make a list. We'll write it, I even wash down the chalkboard. We'll make a list and then we'll go for it. So that'll be Friday for me and Jolene is trying to trying to tidy up the old the old Jolene race car. Have you got a name for it yet, Jolene? What's that? She's she said a few. I can't remember them right at the present moment, but she said a few. The holy hop. Then then it was the, the hot rod hop. Hop what's that? Hop rod, the hop rod. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is get in here and measure. I'm gonna to have to knock them doors open too. That's gonna to be another thing I might tackle. It's, it's gonna be a fair amount, of, fair amount of work to cut a hole for the, for the uh, hinges on the top. It's gonna to be a little bit of work, but that's what we're in here for. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna take and maybe, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pull that seat out just for, cause I think I should in front of my way. Beautiful, look at that. Quick release seat, love it, quick release seat. Shove that right there. And basically what I wanna do is I wanna get underneath the steering wheel and uh, see where I can run a piece of square stock across and not affect anything. And what I gotta get it to shape like. Not bad. What I think I'll do is I can run the square stock right underneath, or I can make a bracket come to go to the steering column so I can run it right hard up and go up that high. Or I can bring it down and go to the steering column. Let me turn here for a second. I'm going to turn. The only reason I'm putting the floor in last, usually I'd have the floor all done. Yes, I would. But the only reason I'm putting the floor in last is because I'm thinking that we're going to go with aluminum. It might be, you know, it might be the wrong choice. It might be whatever. I'm not sure yet. But that's why I'm going with the floor last or else I'd be done by now. It's up two holes there. It's up two holes there. 43 and three quarter. 43 quarter. Looks like a nice spot actually. How about 43 and five eighths. And then I'll make one go the steering wheel. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that square stock down there closest to the engine I can. That'll give me more place to put the firewall for Jolene. And then I'll make a piece come from that square stock up to that steering column. I think, I think I'm going to do that because I'm going to have to weld something on the square stock anyways if it's underneath the steering column. So I'll just, I'll make something that goes up to the steering wheel or steering column and holds it. 43 and 5 eighths. 43 and 5 eighths. All measuring left. 43 and 5 eighths. We'll get the welder in place. 
tried to clean up a little bit. That took time. Yes, it did. It took time. Time is worth more than money. We all should know this because if you were sick, you'd want more time. We all should know that. Keep that in perspective at all times. Time's worth more than money. That's why I guess a gift that is, comes from the brain <laughs> takes actually more time than uh, just buying something. That's why people like gifts that, you know, that's what I'm thinking anyways. What do you think? Huh? I do anyways. You like gifts with thought? That takes time. All right. We'll put that across. It's going to take me a little bit to get it right where I want it. Yes, it will, but that's why it's inside. And me and Jolene can play all night long, can't we, baby? We can play all night long. Huh? Turn the music up a little bit. One thing about these videos, you know, you, you're not, you can't play any music. And uh, we, did a, we did a couple years of TV and with no music. Well, wow, it's, it's rough, you know. I don't want to say rough, but um, life without music is... Is something different, you know, if you're used to having music being played while you're working along. While you're working along. Look at that now. I love that. I love it. A little bit of gap. You know what the gap's for? Penetration. Put that on there. Every piece that we put on it, it makes it, it gives it back its integrity. Every piece, every little brace, every piece that we put back on, um, it gives its integrity back. And uh, that's basically what you're hoping for, or that's what I'm hoping for. Ah, it's a hard place to get at. Ah, <laughs> you got me fall down and break a leg. Don't want to do that, do we, baby? Alrighty, I'm going to go with one side, and then I'll weld it right on exactly on the other side. Come on now, baby. Come on, baby. I tacked it and couldn't see. I went for it. See that little, this piece here is going to have to go the other way, but that's fine. And what I'm doing right, see, you can see how um, that far down, this is how I'm doing this really. I'm not, I didn't measure up from the post, I didn't do anything. I'm that far down from that hole on that side, and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. That's basically how I do things. I, I find it makes it easier makes it easier. It really does. I don't know about getting around things. But that just has to be moved. Just loosened off and moved a little bit. But we look like we're in the basically the same distance down. Now, I'm just going to take a look at it. Um, Away from there. I'm not hitting there. The only thing I'm hitting is that thing right there, and I can loosen that off the solenoid, loosen that off. It's probably going to come off anyways. Not sure, just loosen it off. We're down about the same distance from that side to this side. I'm on the line where I got good meat to weld on the post. I'm going for it. I'm going to weld it in. I'm just going to tack it in there. Get it welded in there. I just want to take a look for here for a second. I don't think there's anything that will stop the body from coming off. You know, I got it kind of close to the engine. The engine's leaned back a little bit, so that means that the, the car, when it comes up, it's going to have to come back a little bit, so I'd have to remember something like that. I can't see no problem with that. I can't see no problem with it. But basically, I, ha I have to stop and think about it. If I don't, that's when you get yourself in trouble.
You know what I'm saying? I really have to think about that stuff. One, two up, one, two up. Same on that spot, same on that spot. Miles attack this side. We got it inside. So basically what I'm thinking is I may as well finish some of the welds up or do this, weld this stuff up as I got it in here and finish it up because that's what we're in here for. That's what we're in here for. It's nice too not having any wind to blow your gas away. So we're welded on that side, on that, on that post. Down a little bit on that one, down a little bit on that one. I'm very satisfied with that. Very satisfied. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And now I have to make a, a mount for the steering column. Uh, you can shut that welder off if you want to, sweetheart. So you hear no noise. The steering column. Generally on that steering column, first thing comes to my mind, clamping that steering column down, is a muffler clamp. That's the first thing that comes to my mind, because it's round. It's round, and uh, so is the steering column. I don't know where the U-bolts are. <laughs> I know where they are, I probably cut them up. Cut them up and did something with them. There's a few of them there. As far as that goes, I can make one. If I can find one. All right, this is what I'm going to do. This here does not, does that fit that? Hmm. Not bad. Here, you bolt. I could make it a little smaller, just cut it in half, weld it back together. And then I could make a stand. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to use... I'm going to use this piece. Uh, it does not fit up there, I see that, but I've got some lovely square stock. Got some lovely square stock right there. Uh, I think it'll fit nice in there. And I'm going to cut two pieces off, two small pieces, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just because I was just looked in there. This does not fit the steering column. It's a little big. It's probably an inch and whatever, but it's a little big. But this is what I'm going to do, or I think what I'm going to do. This is on the fly the fly. Unplugged our grinders. Should get another cord over here for that. Then I'll just keep the grinders plugged in. Get another cord for the welder. It's nice to have it inside. Uh, kind of me and Jolene have a good day. Good Friday. Won't we baby? Won't we baby? Yeah! And uh, what we'll do is we'll just plunk out as many things that we can and then uh, We'll call Friday a good, a good day on the build, right? We'll plunk out all the welding in the back, all the square tubing. We'll just go for it and have fun, um, take breaks when we need it, and basically cruise on. in there and that'll fit in there all right all right make a piece of this just going to cut up a couple chunks i don't know how long it's going to be or what it's going to be we'll be through the same I'm 
I'm guessing we're going to have an angle. We might as well have them both the same. What the hey? Turn the welder back on. I'm thinking that I'll have everything to do it. Turn the welder back on. Now we're making the steering, uh, the steering column mount. Good. Now we're making the steering column mount. So the steering column is where it's supposed to be because Jolene has already done that. Now I'm just trying to make something to hold it there and stay there so she can put pressure on it to, 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 to turn the car. We have a good point to take all the pressures from A pillar to A pillar. That's welded right solid together. So I couldn't see anything affecting that. This is what I'm thinking. If I can shove that in there like that and that in there like that. Can make a nice unvoltable steering column. Yeah. What has to happen though is um, that square stock can't go to the top. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this to the steering column and then cut the cut the square stock to length. So I'm going to try to stick this. I'll have to cut it off though, I wanna make sure I cut it off. Uh. Hmm. I like to be. So I'm gonna do. Don't think I have the ground for that. I didn't scratch it off either, so. Um, I'm really, I'm at a disadvantage, but I'm going to try something here. Well, maybe, maybe that'll work. Just trying to stick it on here so I can find the distance of the square stock that I want to put on there. Come on. I've got paint underneath of it, and uh, it's not working. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. A little tack is all I wanted. Don't know if I'm going to break it off when I do this or not, but just want to straighten it out. It looks straight. It looks straight to me. Now I want to do this. And I have to leave enough for a U-bolt, so I need to cut it off. It needs to go ahead. I need to take this off and go ahead some. So I need to cut the top of that off so I can get my U-bolt down through. Let's do it again. Now I know sort of where to get it. It could be an easier way. It could be a longer way. This is the way I'm doing it. sense. Alrighty. That's not in the position that I want, that's for sure. But 
Oh no, the distance. That's what I want right there. Hmm. Cut it off an inch. If I'm making this difficult or not, but I'm hoping that I can put that riser right there, cut it off, and still have room for a U-bolt to go down through, and that'll close that back off again. We'll see what happens, but we have, I have a plan somewhat. Um, I'm going to knock this off. Any chance you pass me in the grinder, sweetheart? The zip cut, I can knock that off and knock an inch off of those, and then I'll go from, then I got it, I think. Hoping, yeah, zip cut, please. We have man, you're good. Jolene looks amazing today, as always. She's my lady. So, I'm gonna take knock that off. Both little stand stanchers in here. I want to knock off each. I want to knock off inch off of each of them. Instead of them coming up, going up through there, I can't get the bolt down through there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take an inch of them, cut it off, and then I can get a bolt down through there once I cut it off. Hard to show you what I'm saying, but I'll cut an inch off. I'll weld it together, and then we'll see what we have. Both the same. Why not? When I can. No measuring. So I want to put it in there so I can still get a U bolt down through there. You can see that way I can still get a U. If I took it all the way to the top, I can't get a U bolt down through. If I pull it back a little bit, then I can get a U bolt down through. And that's basically what I'm going to do. I take that off. I'll put my ground on on this. I'm going to weld it right up here. So I'm going to just put that on there. I'm just making this with whatever come up. I never made a plan. Um, there was no plan on this one. Uh, no plan on this one. Just want to tack it together. See if I can get a U-bolt down through. Just bend it in a little bit to make it nice and straight. Hope it don't break it. Ah, there we go. Cool. Now we'll do another one. Tack this one on this side. We'll do the exact same thing so we know we got enough room to get down in there. Basically, basically what I'm doing, just make sure I can get enough down and in there. Try to make it even. Even, Steven. I have to take a little bit off. I have to take a little bit off. Same distance down the other side. I can guess that, I guess. Why not? to me like we got the same amount going down through. I can still get a U-boat down through. So basically this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it underneath that steering column and see if I can make that sit on there. And if it does, I'm going to take it back out. I'll weld her up and then I'll weld it to that cross member. Basically that's what I want right there. So I'll stand that on. I like how it fits. I like how it looks. Got lots of angle on it. The U-bolt can go down through there. Got lots of room for that. We'll set it up underneath there nice and tight and right. And go for it. So basically what I'm going to do now is I want to knock off I 
I'm going to touch this up, make sure nothing moves. I like where it's at, so let's make it not move. I'll get out and get the flap. I probably should just weld that up and uh, be done with it. I'll get out and get the flap and we'll clean that column off so I can weld it right. Didn't want them down in there. But. Make sure that bracket's hot. Bet you it is. I might as well weld it up because we're trying. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to tidy things up, finish things up today. Gonna have fun with it. Yes, we are. We're gonna have fun with it. Cause it's Friday. Yes, we are. Gonna have fun with it. Cool, that's not going nowhere. That's got me happy. We'll leave that to cool off. I'm gonna get the, the flapper wheel, knock off the little, what's that? Can you get that flapper wheel? Do you wanna do that or? Cause I can get it and get it. Okay, baby's gonna pass me the flapper wheel. Man, things are getting good around here. We're inside is what's going on. Oh, the dog. I don't want to say her name because she'll move. But Fina looks so comfortable, don't she? Why? Look at Fina. Why? You couldn't ask for more. Oh, melt my heart. Look at her. This is happy as a lark. Huh? Huh? Happy that we're inside. She's a good dog, man. She's some good dog. She's some good dog. We're not welding this to the column whatsoever. We're welding this piece to that square stock. And uh, this, this is gonna hold the steering column up. Ouch, that's hot. Woo! Ha ha. Grab that for a second. Probably going, probably going a little quick here. Probably going a little quick. Yes, that is super hot. Alrighty. Let's see if we can't get the, I'm intertwined here a million times with the ground. That's what happens. But, uh, um, I'm going to try to set that into that steering column, put it where we like it, and then we're going to weld it. Woo! And then we can U bolt it. And uh, I put that piece of square stock in there wrong when I put that in there. And it doesn't matter, but I did. Get off. Wow, that's zinging. Yeah, let's go for it. No, I do not like that. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because one side, that side there, 
I never, this side here looks like it could flash out here. This side does not. This side needs to go in a little bit further. See that? Well, I don't like it, and I'm going to cut it and move it. Just a little bit, right? Just because. Hmm. Uh, didn't bring anything in for a hammer, did I? Except my hand. Ooh. Uh, ooh, and, ooh and an ah. Is there anything I can use to push that in, baby? Want to grab me a hammer if possible? And this is the tri tribes and tribulations when you're doing this sort of stuff. In and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, basically. Just the red one would be fine. Thanks, baby. Just didn't like that being out like that. If I wanted to lay something flush on that, that one piece of square stock out too far would hold me out. And I didn't want that to hold me out. No, I did not. Now, now we're talking. Now I like it better. And if you have something like on your project like that bug you, make sure you take it off. Why wouldn't you? Looking good now. Happy with it now. You can see me welding this on there now. As that's on there, now this square stock is going to have to be tied to the floor skeleton, right? Now we have a piece there, now we got that there, now we'll probably end up tying a piece of square stock to the skeleton of the floor, and we'll tie a piece in over here. Basically that's what goes on, then you just keep tying everything in until you're satisfied that it's safe, that's basically what's going on, and also that'll give uh, strength to the steering column piece when that's tied, in, tied into there, when it's bolted to the frame. There's nowhere you're going to take it. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think. Now I'm going to leave that for now. And the reason being is I can only weld so much where I'm at. The steering column is... It can move a little bit back and forth. Yes, it can. But when we put the U-bolt down through, now we put, we'll put a U-bolt down through there. Go down through there, and then we'll bolt it on, nut it up on this side, and then it cannot move anywheres. And that's what we're going to do. But I've got the square stock tied to that. We've got a, we've actually can take off the brace that we have um, holding the steering column because now we have we have the bracket that's going to hold it in place. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to jump out. I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to jump out and take a look for a minute. That's basically what you should do every time after you're done doing something, to jump out and take a look at it, step back, take a whatever. So now I can come back here and weld it on this side. I'm hoping that flushed out there. Yeah, it flushed out there all right. I can weld that on this side. I think I might. Seeing where it's right there, I can finish it. And then we'll, we'll cut and stretch the pitman arm and hook that on. Anything that you, like anything that we do not think is safe, we'll take it off and, 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 and make it again. Like this is kind of mock-up, not kind of, it is mock-up. And uh, we'll take it off and make it safe. Believe you I, I'm the last person that would want to hurt Jolene. I am the last person. Uh. 
up. Uh, bring it down in there a little bit. Bunking the weld on, and the reason being is <laughs> this is a steering bracket, and I'm plunking the weld on for that reason. Mm -hmm. I want, I do not want to shy of weld. Yell it, Sharp! And I will not grind any of that off. We'll leave it. We're on there now. We're not going nowhere, baby. That could be knocked off if it wanted to be. Alrighty. This is what's got to happen now. Do I should, maybe I should put a U, maybe I should put a U bolt in that right quick. What do you think? Want a U bolt in that right quick? I can make one. Cut that one in half. Fall on me, please. There's nothing there right quick, I see. But I can cut that in half, shrink it, and put it back together and weld it to make it stay there for now, I could. But I think it's okay that we could, okay for there for now. I guess I'll cut the idler arm off, and I'm gonna stretch that. If you wanna take a look, we were already down there taking a look at it, wasn't we not? So we're just gonna cut it off, and I'm going to stretch it. Just gonna cut it off, basically. And after the video, we'll probably get Jolene to write down a bunch of stuff on the chalkboard and we'll try to cross it off as we do it. It's, it's good to do it that way sometimes. It's good to do it that way sometimes. I find that um, having, you know, having that goal or that thing in place where you can see what you have to be done and check it off, it's accomplishment every time you go up and check it off. It feels good that you got it checked off. It feels good. Come on. Which is the, okay, that's the piece that goes over. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean them up a little bit. Clean the edges up, because they're gonna have to be welded. I wanna clean this one up. Probably would be nice if I took it out to weld that on, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It goes like that. It goes like that. Okay, basically, that's the thickness of the metal of, the, of what's going on. Um, I would never just butt weld something to get, like put something on that and then try to weld around it and do that. No, um, we're going to figure something out. On, on the arm that goes over to the other wheel, goes over to the wheel and steers it, I'm probably going to see if I can shove something on top of that and weld it around and do the exact same thing on the other piece. And the reason being is, is I'm going to change that when it comes time. Um, we just want to steer it. Um, I have not got all the heim joints right now, but we want to be able to steer it. We want to be able to steer it. And what I'm going to do is, it's not going to be temporary. It's going to be for now. Uh, pretty good piece of square tubing over here, I think. Just want to see. No, it does not. I want to see if I could get a piece to go over top of it, and then I could just lengthen it that way, weld it here, and make it a little longer, and shove it over top, bring this up to it, and weld it together, and then we could be done. 
because we're going to try to put it together all at once. You can see how that's all beat out of there. That's probably no good anyways. That's going to have to be dealt with, but we want to steer it. So um, this is what I'm going to do. I want to, I want to stretch this and uh, how, what, how do I want to do it? I'm going to weld it back together. Yes, I am. I got it right here. But I want to do it like that far. So I want to stretch it probably, we'll say two inches, I would say. We'll stretch it two inches. I'm going to take that steering column out and do it that way. Yeah, I think we're fine. Clean it off there. Once I connect that, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time with that because I have to slide that over top of that. Yeah, I'm going to have a... Wondering how I want to stretch that. I got square stock. I got some square stock I can weld, weld a piece on, or some round stock, and then put another piece of round stock on, and then weld another piece, and weld it all together so it's all. Couldn't see how it would come off, or I could, or I could try to find something. I don't want to do that really. Nope, don't want to do that. I'm going to clean that off and I'm just going to cut a piece and go from there. Probably have to take the steering column off to do, I'm going to have to take the steering column off to do a nice job, but I have to get it in place to where I'll see where I want it. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to clean this off one way or the other. I can see where the lines are, so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off the steering column. Take it out and, and do it, and then put it back in. Just held on there good. Awesome. And also, if, if that's down or any chance, whatever, we can always put a little rubber underneath of it and, and to make it sit and feel good. I've got to get these bolts out. Take them off. I was thinking about welding them on the back side before I put them on there. And uh, I did not. But we'll see how it comes off. wrench I guess. It's the one I need. It's actually nice to be out of the wind, like it's windy outside and we got the truck outdoors and uh, it's kind of cool to see them together actually. What they're going to look like. Uh, Jolene did a little film work of that, what they're going to look like together. You can see that on Facebook if you want to. Jolene posts stuff on there that we do not see on YouTube because of the way she's filming it, I guess. Just certain times. She does a fantastic job, though, I must say. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to pull that off. Here we go. Now we got something inside to hold it. Beautiful. Awesome. Look at that now, would you? Ah, that glass is sharp, too. Going to have to get in there. No matter which way I do it, I think it's going to be, you know, a lot of in and out going on. But uh, that's what it takes. So that's what we're going to do. That makes sense, doesn't it? That's what it takes, so that's what we're going to do. It's pretty cool that 
these parts after all these years setting outdoors or whatever this I, this has been setting outdoors for quite a while here and to be able to go over and turn it and it work is quite quite something you know uh, I think it was just the beginning of learning that time is worth more than money <laughs> wasn't it um, to make things last so long nowadays we don't make them last as long I don't think I think more today that it's how can you get it done quickly and uh, keep you going for a little while? Ooh, I don't want to do that. Do this. Where's that piece? The piece there. Uh, that's the top. The lines line up. Do, do, do. That come off like that. We want to make it longer. longer all righty here we go with the square stock again uh, da, 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 da. what's that baby uh, I don't want to use the black round pipe I don't think it won't it won't um, do much for me I want to I want to make what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of square stock yeah I'm just gonna weld three pieces of square stock around there and bring it up there one I think there's many ways to kick this cat, I guess, but that's what we can do. We can run a piece of square. It does not matter what it looks like as long as it's safe, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a piece of square stock on the outside. On the outside, we'll make it a little bit bigger. And then we'll fill the inside. Maybe that's what we'll, we'll see. Let's weld it together. I'll get a couple pieces here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a piece of square stock. And on this application, there is more than one way to skin the cat on this bad boy. Like, if you know what I'm trying to tell you, like, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to weld that on there, on the outside of that. We'll leave lots to grind to. We'll fill that all in. And then we'll add that one on. We'll fill that all, all, on, all in. And then we'll do maybe something the same on the other side. I'd like to get this. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. It's on the ground there, I know, but... How am I going to set it up, and get it ready, take all that time to do that? Um, I'm not sure if... Not sure. I'm just going to move this over here. I'm going to put that clamp right there. Okay. Basically, what we want to do is we want to get it welded all the way through is what we'd want to do, is what I'm thinking is what I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld that right on there like that. And I can leave some to grind off so it looks good, basically. All right, 
let's see what we got going on here. Good. Oh, took that off. Maybe that sweet pie. I hope you're back up, baby. I'm keeping her glasses. If I haven't told you yet, it's Friday. And uh, we're going to do as much as we can to this thing. We got it inside. And that's where we're going. We're going to do as much as we can. And basically, I got that all the way welded around there. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And that goes on there like that. I'm going to weld that. All the way on there. Yes, I am. Fill all this in. Just really trying to keep the heat poured on that piece so I can get it stick to this square stock. Get it welded all the way around. Does not matter just as long as I get it welded all the way around. That's all I care. I can grind it off and make it look what I want to, but I want it to stick. Alright. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, which shreddies. I'm going to get another piece, stick it in there. And then what I'm doing is taking it to a point, making sure I can get her all welded. And we'll do the exact same thing on that one. Do that one this way. Then we'll weld it all together. Here we go. kinds of welding in there. Oh, it's got a stack. See the nice big gaps and holes I got to plug and weld that up. That's what you want. See way down there where I'm welding, way down in there. Weld it all the way through. Uh 
all the way down in there. Sounds like they're mad, doesn't it? I think you want to touch it? And basically, I'm going to keep going until I get that big enough that I can make it ground down a little bit and I can make it look like the rest of it. Basically, what I'm going to do, just for Jolene, Nice and hot. We'll let that cool off a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run some more weld on that to make it make me happy and then we'll grind it and shape it to make it look like it's never been messed with. We just need it a little bit longer but we want it to hold. Uh, Lincoln Electric right there buddy. Zap that bad boy on did it not? Um, you'd have no fear of trying to get that off. That is blistering hot you can see how red it is and what we'll do is we'll just feather the weld up a little bit further we'll feather the weld up a little bit further on the pitman arm we'll feather it. and then we can put a little more weld on this and then we can feather it all one to make it all as one um, and that's what I'm doing we'll put maybe uh, some kind of round stock over top of this I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this put back in for what time is it 103, 103. Um, I can do a little bit more welding here it's just that we're gonna I want to get it welded back up before we hook it back up. And if you know what I'm trying to tell you, sweetheart, I'd like to run a little weld down the side. That's what I'm going to do. Just run down some down the side. I guess I'll just finish this up, basically. So I'm going to start up here on this, and I'll go down past here somewhere, and then we'll be able to grind it all as one. going here. Yep. Want to take it up a little further so we have meat. So what I want to do, then we can grind some off. Do the other side. Next, we can do a strike along here. It's a welding project. That's all this is. The welding project. Build her up so you can grind her off and make it look like something.
and lots of grind off. That's what I want. Just want to make sure I got weld in there to grind off, make it look right. And have it stick. Kinds of weld on that bad boy. One one end or the other. See what I'm doing here. See what I'm doing. Trying to make her stick for you, baby. Trying to make her stick for you. I think she'll stick. That's good. That's good. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to leave that for a little bit. I'll do a little bit of grinding on that. And uh, what we'll do is I won't go any further than that. No further than that. Like, I mean, when I grind off, no further down than what's there now. And what's not left, I'm going to fill it back in with welds so you cannot tell it's been fixed. But uh, we know we've gone, I've gone like probably half inch over on top of that, half inch on this end. We've got lots of weld in there. Everything's good. You're not going to break that off. Oh. But anyways, that's what has to happen. I'm going to let that cool off for a little bit. And then I can hook my arm up to my ball joint. And then we'll put a U-bolt on the steering and we'll be able to steer it. I talked about taking, excuse me, I talked about taking the square stock and going down to the skeleton, ouch, and, and bracing that up so that works nice. And then we'll do the same to the other side. But it's Friday. Do you want to give away a hat or a shirt, baby? We're going to give away a hat or a shirt. Uh, this sort of stuff that we're doing right now, uh, it's all just slow stuff. I'm going to say slow stuff, but um, it's all just kind of stuff that you have to jump in and out, figure it out, and do it as fast as you can. Basically, that's what I'm doing. But we want to get the steering geared up good, and that's what I come up with. Um, what I did, basically, if, if you didn't... Uh, Whatever. Basically, what I wanted to make sure is that I welded all the way through on that, on that pitman arm. And basically, what I did is I just made that into a 45 the square stock, and then I could get right to it. And, and another, another thing too, I just want to weld it all together so it's good. I didn't want to slip something over top of it. I don't think I'd like that. How would you weld it together? But that right there is, is what I'm happy with. Computer's up here. All right. It's Friday. I'm going to have a little drinky whiny poo with Jolene. Jolene's going to weld the other side up. She's going to stay in the garage with me all night, she said. We're going to do just a happy little Friday. The garage is cleaned up. The car's inside the garage, so we don't have to worry about the wind blowing our weld away. We are going to have to panic when it gets dark to get the truck back inside because of uh, it's going to get damp overnight, and I don't want to get damp on the truck overnight. Um, I do not want to go backwards on that, but I do want to get that little race car moving on its own on its own. I want it to grow up and be able to, to look after itself. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? That's what my daughter's doing right at the present moment. She's free as a bird. She's got her license. She's driving around. She's turned into a woman right in front of my eyes. She's doing a good job. Kent McKean. Is that right? Yeah. 
Kent McKean. Closer to the driver, going to be looking through the steering wheel. Uh, yes, she is. Uh, the steering wheel. Yes, she is going to be looking through the steering wheel, but she has very good vision. She has all the glass to look through, and yes, she is. Um, when, when it come down too far, what has happened is where we've took and sectioned it, how many off the bottom? Nine? I think nine inches off the bottom. We sectioned nine on, inches off the bottom. We've took six off the top. So that means that the car has become very small, and that steering column, you know, unless you want to sit way, way back in the car, then she would have a hard time with the pedals where they're at. Um, you, you would have to take that steering column and put it way back through the car to get it not up in the air like that, and we have not done that. She, we're using the pedals where they're at. We probably actually bring her a little closer because she's smaller, and it makes that wheel come up like that. And uh, what I, I guess what I was talking about earlier, you wouldn't make a race car for six different people, I wouldn't think. I think you'd have one person in mind, and that would be the person that you're fitting it to. And that's what I'm doing. I'm fitting it to Jolene because that, this is going to be her weekend of glory to drive that car down back and forth the track and have fun with, and I'm going to be ecstatic to watch her. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for all the comments and everything. I appreciate it. Didn't see how many comments were this we got 417 comments, cool. But that's what we're going to do for Friday. It's Friday. Just going to stay in the garage and have fun with Jolene. Come back tomorrow and see what happens.